Hey guys, it's Cauliflower, and today we are going to be talking about some recently hauled favorites on my channel, which means just products that I have recently showed you guys in either a Friday weekly mail video or in a haul, which basically is the same thing because all I'm telling you is about products that I just recently purchased or had sent to me for review. And these are some of my favorites. They're kind of a little bit of a strange mix this time. They're not all makeup. Some of them are a little bit um, about body care. And let's just start. Let's let, not even go into all the talking. So the first thing I want to talk about is something very different on my channel that I don't ever really speak about. And that is um, scented oils. So this company contacted me through Content Boulevard. And their name is Nemat. And I saw this little uh, picture of this particular bottle when they were pitching to me. About their product and I was instantly intrigued. So what they sent me is the Nemat Vanilla Musk and Amber. These are scented oils. These have no alcohol in them whatsoever. And this is right up my alley as far as like scents are concerned because I am all about more of the musky type scents and I love the warm scents and this embodies both of those things. This one in amber, it reminds me of the fall. It's like crackling leaves and smelling like just something baking and like your favorite Bath and Body Works, Bath and Body Works candle burning in the background. It embodies all of that. Um, you need very little with these oils, just a little bit on your pulse points. And honestly, when it goes into your skin, it just smells so comforting and so warm. At least the amber one does. And the other one, this Nemat Vanilla Musk, this has got to be the best vanilla scented anything I have smelled in a long time. It's so actually dead on vanilla smelling without that overpowering sweet smell. And it has that undertone of the musk there. And there's no overpowering of either, which I really, really like about it. And again, just put the oil on your pulse points and it mixes in with your body chemistry and you smell so good. I have even been inclined to put a little of it in my hair. So my hair will smell like that because I'm just obsessed with the products. Um, I will leave below all of the information about Nemat. I definitely think you should check them out. So that is one. The next of my favorites comes from a um, body company. Well, they're more of a of a body care company. They are called Nature Shea Butter, and I showed this in a weekly Friday mail video. And they have an all natural Nilotica Shea Butter. This stuff is so, so good. I have been using this stuff. Now, it looks like I haven't been using a lot because you don't need to use a lot. This stuff is so, so creamy. The way that they patent this, I don't know how they do it, but they manage to make it to the point where it's not dry. And like sometimes when you get shea butter, it's very dry on the top until you start to take the rim of it off. And then underneath the product is very smooth. Well, this is not like that. This is smooth from beginning to finish. And it feels like a really, really nice balm. I can't explain it. You can put this all over your body. You can use this for your hands. You can use this for your lips. If you have very dry lips, I do suggest to try it on that. Um, the back of your ankles, the back of your heels, um, your toes, wherever you get like very dry patches, this stuff is wonderful. And like I said, it is so, so creamy. I can do this all day. I can just sit here and just do this all day long. And of course you can use it as a hand lotion. It doesn't feel greasy or anything like that. And because I have lower um, allergies on my legs, especially around the calf area where I get very itchy, very scaly, and nothing seems to work, this stuff has been doing wonders for that. And the smell of this smells like brown sugar. It's just so, so wonderful. And the other parts, uh, the other parts of this haul that were sent to me were also these little tiny jars and these are all scented differently. This one is in coconut, coconut mango and it is delicious. Like literally it smells of coconut mango. It smells like you're on a beach and you're about to sip a pina colada. And again, I put this on my lips. Of course, I'm not going to put it on now because I'm wearing lipstick, but I put this on my lips at night and in the morning, my lips feel so, so good. Uh, just really moisturized and really hydrated. And all of this feels very natural. There's no additives to it. Um, 
Every single one of these little pots is made 100% pure with all natural ingredients. And of course, you know me, I'm an all natural girl. I love that kind of stuff. So that's definitely been a favorite as well. All right, let's move on to what I always talk about on my channel, and that is makeup. So I have been trying out a few foundations uh, recently, and I haven't made up my mind about all of them yet. But I just started using one of them and already it is a favorite and I cannot believe that because I was so skeptical to purchase this. But it is the NYX Total Control Drops. Now I have never tried any kind of a dropper type of a, um, that's not true. That's not true. I did try one. Um, I think it was the Tarte Enchantment, um, Enchantment something. You know what I mean, the Tarte one. And that's a dropper. But this one, I was a little bit more skeptical about because I was like, well, what if the colors don't work? And I know NYX has a large array of colors, but I picked out this one, and this one is in vanilla, and I was afraid with the bottle, it might be a little too light for my complexion, but I couldn't have been more wrong because it blended nicely. It really did. Now, it comes out liquidy, very, very liquidy, but when it goes on your skin, look at how it matches completely. It goes on your skin, it blends in so nicely. And the coverage on this is honestly, I know a lot of people say that it, you can build it to a medium to heavy coverage. I noticed when I first used it, and I used it with a beauty blender, so it sheared it out a little bit more. I noticed that I only went in twice, and that means that I did like four drops in total, like two drops the first time, and then two drops the second time, and I got a full covered face. Now, I have freckles on my face. There are times that I have um, darkness from circles, or I have like maybe a breakout here or there. But this covered it, and it does it so nicely, and it doesn't make my face look like there's barely any foundation, even though it feels like there's barely any foundation on your face. It works nicely with my powders. It works. It just, it works. I can't believe that, and I was so skeptical about this, especially the price point is $13.99. Um, I picked this one up at Ulta, but you know what? Honestly, um, when we invest in anything that has to do with our face, sometimes we have to go that extra mile, and I think it's worth it to try and uh, go the extra mile, pick this one up. It's really, really good. If you perchance do not pick up your color, there's so many different colors. You can do a mix and match kind of a thing, and you'll always have um, a really good foundation. I think it's really, really great. So that's definitely been a favorite, along with... A, another one that was unexpected. I did not expect to like these. See, this is when I'm, I'm really happy about purchases I make when I say, eh, not really sure, but you know what? This was influenced by a YouTuber, which there will be a separate video about, but I am talking about the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I didn't think I was going to like this. I'm just going to flat out say it. I did not think I was going to like this. I'm like, okay, it's Wet n Wild. I love Wet n Wild, don't get me wrong. But I've heard mixed reviews about certain palettes that they have for the face. The highlighters, the contours, that kind of a thing. This one, on uh, the other hand, is great. I'm wearing it today. It is my contour. It is the perfect contour color. It really, really is. It's not that dark. It's not too light. It's not orangey, even though sometimes it can appear that way. It blends in really, really nicely on the skin, um, and it makes your face look as contoured as you need it to look. And I really like the highlighting powder. I didn't think I was going to like the highlighting powder. I'm like, okay, well, I like the contour, but not the highlighting powder. Nope, nope. This is a creamy look at that. Look at how nice it came off from the palette. Such a creamy powder. It goes on really smoothly and it highlights the right areas of your face. And the other thing on the back is it tells you how to apply the makeup. So it gives you all of the price points on your face that you need to put the highlight and also the contour and then how you should blend it together, which is ingenious for Wet n Wild because a lot of companies don't do this. They don't give you the step by step. And um, for something that was like $4.99 in the drugstore and probably less than that because it was one, one of those deals that I got, um, this is definitely a surprise favorite as far as favorites are concerned. So love that. And then the last thing I want to talk about is on my eyes today. And it's a palette, of course it is, and it is in the realm of the Tarte Man Eater palette. 
again, this was a skeptical purchase. I, I've been on a just a crazy buy of new makeup. I've been wanting to try all the new things. And, you know, normally I always pick up something from Tarte because Tarte happens to be one of my favorite um, higher-end makeup brands. And sometimes Tarte can be really great, and sometimes Tarte can be eh, eh, eh. So I contemplated between the, um, I think it's the In Bloom, and I know that came out a year or two ago, or this one, and then I saw the colors in this one, and yep, mm -hmm, I was definitely sold. I am telling you, this is probably going to be very used this spring. I don't know why I feel that way, but this highlighter alone, okay? Again, most palettes don't give you highlighters that look like this. It is so pretty. I am wearing it today, and it, it is, we are in direct sunlight, so you can see exactly how bright and how just dewy this highlight looks and I've never had a palette that did that. The the highlights will be like mediocre to decent but never really this good. And then of course the shadows themselves they're just absolutely gorgeous. I'm wearing them on my eyes today. I have Purr in the crease. I have Saucy as also like my transition and then I have Hypnotic on my lids and then of course I put the um, lace one in my inner corner and meow underneath my brows. And I'm telling you, full look with this, you can make a diff, uh, you know, totally different look um, every day if you wanted to. You can go really smoky, you can go neutral, you can go just natural, what have you. And it was really inexpensive. I love doing this too. I love this little magnetic thing it has attached to it. So definitely something that I would advise you guys to pick up. If you're looking for something that's a little less expensive, but you want to try something new, I would definitely go with the Tarte Man Eater palette. So that is it today for my recently um, hauled favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about any of these products, please do uh, ask me below. I will um, put some of the information on the Shea Butter and the Knee Mat below so you guys can check that out yourself. I think there might even be a code involved. I'm not sure. But um, that is it for this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.